welcome back to, um, what are we playing again? Um, Contra. <laughs> oh, then, pr then press, then use the Konami code. Ah, uh, yes. Wait. Uh-oh. Wait. What? This isn't Skies of Arcadia? No. Okay. No, this isn't No Man's Sky. I'm sorry, do you have $100 to drop on a game? Ha, <laughs> nope. Hey, do you have $80 to drop on a game you'll never play again? Well, let me introduce to you 1 2 Switch. A it's a good thing I didn't drop 80 bucks on that. 15 mini games and three of them are playable. <laughs> Anybody American watching this be like, what the fuck are they talking about? 80 bucks. <laughs> yeah. These presents are clicking over the Shadow Pokemon. I wish you got a Shadow Pokemon. And then they were like, oh, wait, because that would have been kind of co a cool way. They uh, accidentally give you a Shadow Pokemon. Like, he's oh, that shit. dorkest guy that Meyer B's been carrying on about. <laughs> Why is he carrying on about us? We didn't do anything to him yet. Yet. <laughs> yet being the key word. Mm. Oh no! Go Yanma! Oh no! This is the Shadow Yanma that I swear every single time I play this game is stupidly hard to catch. Isn't its ability speed up too? Speed boost? Yeah. Speed, boost, speed up. Sorry. I like speed, speed up better. Up. No, speed up. I like it better. <laughs> Yanma's speed up! <laughs> you guys, Yanma's speed up made it fast fuck boy. Fast as fuck boy. I'm still just imagining she's kind of she's kind of slightly constipated every time she sees a shadow Pokemon. It just, it just upsets her bowels whenever she sees one. It makes me uncomfortable! I don't like it! <laughs> I had a dream I couldn't fart. That would That's be That's um, that would be unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's paralyzed. It may not be able to move. It's moving pretty fine though. Uh, here it is. You stupid slugma! Okay, I would like you to take that back, sir. I'm, I'm going to beat your slugma to death. Static. Also, uh, what what gen was it when they actually made the model slower? Hey, we're not a special attack down nature. What do you mean? This is like, There was a time. There was a, this one generation. I can't remember which one it was. It was probably six. When a Pokemon was paralyzed, they actually slowed down the animation. Oh, that was Gen 5, the sprites. No, yeah. The sprites yeah. move too. Okay, okay, so why didn't they do it for at least this game? Like, they can't tell me they didn't have a processing power to. Oh, that, paralyzed. That stupid slug got a crit and it did absolutely nothing! Isn't Pineco very bulky? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Hey, isn't Slugma a special attacker? Yeah. So, you're oh, sticking, thank you for sticking up for my Slugma, Mark. Screw you. Slugma's not much of anything. Well, Ryan, are we using Altaria? I would like to use that. I've decided right. against Mantine because I realized we'd be doubling up on two types and that just bothers me too much. I'll just guess we'll use Cool Fish again. Mm. I'll be doubling up on water types. Yeah, but then we wouldn't be doubling up on poison types. Now, nah, I'll, I'll decide eventually. I just want to get this Slugma all the way down so I can just stop using it. Also, why couldn't you just catch the uh, Yanma? I can. I just want to wait to. Well, it's. I don't know why this Yanma is giving me so much trouble, but it has. And I'm gonna make sure it's it's like the last thing left. Uh, I'm basically just gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this thing. Give me a second. Wee. Can I get a static? So that's that? another thing I've noticed. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Oh, no just that's another thing I've noticed with uh, the whole professional scene of this game, or Pokemon in general. Rapid Spin seems like such a fucking useless attack in the hindsight and just such a typical play. Rapid Spin is literally only good for competitive. Yeah, that's what I mean though. Like. Like what? In, in what scenario in a, in a playthrough? I can name one scenario where Rapid Spin was ever useful for me. I had a War Turtle in my Fire Red that knew Rapid Spin when I was a kid because I didn't know what it did. The Yanma, ah! Oh! I was just about to say it was God. The 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 opponent the opposing Ivysaur used Leech Seed and I went, wait! I have Rapid Spin and then I used Rapid Spin to get rid of the Leech Seed and then got Vine Whipped to death. <laughs> so very useful. Wasting a turn doing about six damage. Uh oh, Nin Cat. Isn't that bug ground? Bug ground? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Crisis averted. Maybe yawn the Nin Cat. Matt, can you go beat the cats? Um. I please. mean. I could. I said please. Yeah, but here's the deal if I come back and my Slugma's dead, you're in trouble. Okay, I don't care if this Slugma dies. I don't care if it die dies. Can you bring me a Dr. Pepper? I don't think we have it. Can you bring me a Coca Cola? We got the Yanma! I'm tempted to use it. I'm kidding. Uh, fuck it's, fact. It's pretty funny. Yanma's ridiculously weak. Yeah. I honestly actually like Yen Mega a lot. I think it's a really cool concept and design. But oh my goodness. So I was playing Platinum recently and I had a, I caught a Yanma at level 28. 
-hmm. And the five levels it took to learn ancient power and, and, you know, actually get to a point where it could evolve was staggeringly hard. I was gonna say, like, I think Yanma and Yanmega have the same, almost the exact same situation as, like, Gligar and Gliscor. Gligar and Yanma are terrible. Yes. They don't do, they well, can't do anything Gligar viable. actually isn't bad. Competitively, because of Evia Light, and yeah, it actually know, doesn't have a bad stat. Without Evia like, Light, but. It yeah, it gens like two and three. Anything it's, before its evolution is bad. Yeah. Once those two evolve, though, Gliscor is a great wall. Amazing Pokemon. Is immune to two types, and Yon Mega. Gets Tinted Lens as a, its, its secondary ability. Hey, Mark. Yes. Where's my Slugma? Switch it out. I switched it out. Okay, you're safe. Yeah, I didn't let it die. You're safe. I just didn't give it the time of day. I said you're safe. This is a. I love Flaffy and the Ampharos line. They're so bulky. I know he's using not very effective moves, but like, he's it's taking a lot of. That hits. was also Leech Life. Don't worry about it. It's also interesting though that they're a Mono Electric type, but Ampharos can learn a Rock and Bug type move. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to heal the Flaffy. Oh, I will. Ampharos um, is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. I I, obviously, that's in the later generation because we know Power Gem wasn't a thing in this gen. Yeah. Fair. Signal Beam is, but I actually don't think I learned Signal Beam in the moveset in this gen. Look at that. That was a crit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I think that was actually. I got that quickly because that would actually be really useful for good. Ugh. Ah, let's just leech. My fav one of my favorite type one of my favorite type relations is bug and fighting. They're both not very effective against each other. Heracross is an amazing Pokemon. Okay. It resists both of its types. Well, you, it's really hard to punch a bug, and it's really hard for a bug to kill someone who punches. This is all true. I always like to think of it super literally. That's Psychic right. Psychic is super effective against fighting because if a fighting guy, if you go punch, try and punch a Mewtwo, he's gonna go whee, and he's gonna throw you across the room. Uh, flying type is good against fighting types because it's hard to punch a bird. <laughs> That's also, yeah, that is really true. I no. don't punch flies though. I just hit them with my McDonald's hat. Makahita. Wait, but what level is Flaffy? Thirty. He evolves immediately. We might have gotten screwed out of something then. What? Yeah, for us, it learns Thunder Punch at thirty. I think it gets Thunderbolt when you purify it. So it's it's not gonna matter. I was saying, if it doesn't, no. Oh, yeah. If it gets, we might have just lost a decent electric move. I mean, Thunderbolt. push comes to show. We, I'm if pretty sure, from experience, you'd get Thunderbolt the second you purify it, so that'll Nor. be a treat. Yeah, even um, Fire Red Leaf Green, it does not learn Signal Beam. I will say, if you are playing a Pokemon game, it's Duke. If you're playing a Pokemon game in Gen 3 and you want to transfer over some Pokemon to get to level 100, this is the game to do it because end game levels are around the 60s. And I just traded the Quillfish for my other files, my Fire Red, and duped it up to level 100 in like two days. Nice. Now I have a level 100 Quillfish in my Fire Red, and people ask, why do you have a level 100 Quillfish in your Fire Red? That's why not? a strange Pokemon. And I go, because he's one of my favorite Pokemon, because he's so underrated. It's like this one guy I watch on YouTube. I mean, he doesn't really do YouTube anymore, but his one of his mascots was Finion. <laughs> it's so well, underrated. I'm like, Finion's not really underrated. It's Lumenion that is. I'm still working. First out. evolutions in general are underrated because you naturally think of the full evolution before you think of the first one. You were saying, right? This is true. Let's go back to the mm -hmm. question I asked them. I think two weeks ago now at this point, or was it last? I, can't, I already forget. Where are you going, Mark? When I asked, like, what's your favorite? There was a healing machine in there. It's because there's a trainer. Uh, right, finish. Yeah. Like, what's your favorite bad Pokemon? Mine was nine. Mine, mine was nine tails. Like, even Volpix and Nine Tails are not great Pokemon. Yeah. Quillfish isn't a quote a great Pokemon. No, he is but not. He's quite bad. Actually, it does. But that's what, that was my question. But you still love these Pokemon because it's just it's something about them. You know what? Um, Quillfish, genuinely, do you want to know the reason- story time. Do you want to know the reason I like Quillfish? Actually, I do. You already know. Well, you kind of do. So, uh, I went to a comic shop with my college friends. Mm-hmm. Shout out to those guys, but they're not watching. And, uh, I, we went, and I saw a stuffed Quillfish. Now, something in my brain went, when am I gonna find a plush Quillfish ever again? That's not the kind of Pokemon you see a plush for. There's certain Pokemon you don't even think have plushes. That is the one I thought of. So I thought, oh, I should get this. So I bought it. And then since then, I have just abundantly loved Quillfish. Un is he's such a good boy. And also, I don't know. He's got like a cool moveset. He gets Fell Stinger. He gets Swords Dance. Cool. You want to know just the one general thing about Gen 2? It kind of had a few forgettable Pokemon. Don't, Stantler. Don't do Dunsparce. Like 
No, not Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet gained his popularity from the anime being Jesse's goofball Pokemon. Can we talk about the fact that there was a uh, Chillin' Chill <coughs> this week that was abundantly fake? It was so fake. A leak? They said Rotom had an evolution. Bullshit. They said no. Weezing had an evolution. No. They said, th here's the thing. I told, my, I told myself, if I ever see a leak and there's Gen 1 Pokemon getting evolutions on it, it's fake. They will never change the Gen 1 Pokemon unless they're giving them new forms, which isn't changing the Pokemon. They would never give a Gen 1 Pokemon an evolution anymore. They said they tried that in Gen 4, and I'm not sure how well that went over. Mag, I was about to say, take Mag, it from actually, me. Yeah, I no, think it worked perfectly fine. That's fair. But, but that's because, again, my I'm this is coming from a guy who's not Gen 1 nostalgic, so it doesn't matter to me how they I think it's a little the late. That, also, it said Rotom got an evolution, and that is just no. That that's a no. Now, if it said an alternate form, that'd be a different story. Yeah. But... How would they work around Rotom's forms if it evolved? Would they each form have an evolved form? Because that's just too much thinking. You know. And what? also, there was another one. Um, Dunsparce got a normal fairy evolution. I was like, that's just fan service. There was too much. Um. Evolutions that just seemed fan y like there was a fire grass type that was a chili pepper what people have been asking for for a very long time And like Nintendo's not Game Freak's not that like that. No, they're not fan service -y. They There's only one. they bring original designs that people enjoy like when people ask for no more fire fighting types they brought two more <laughs> Well, to, I think it was after Embor we started saying, "Don't no more firefighting." I think Embor was the crossing point. Also, it was going off of the leak of the starter designs that I showed you both. So, oh, we don't need to heal again. All right. Or was the other lady there a trainer? Uh, she doesn't have anything. We just want to avoid her. She's one of those trainers that every time you pass her, she fights you. I'm more just thinking like the EXP would still be good. Oh no, trust me, there's an abundance of EXP in this game. Oh, again, if it, I, I'm going to train at Mount Battle. Off screen, when, if our team does get under level, but wait, is this guy's name Geets? Geets, Larvitar and Barbage from Bandana Guy Geets. I want the Larvitar. I feel I'm like to be disappointed. I feel like I was Damn. gonna say something, but now I forget what it was. Well, Ryan, luckily in Pokemon XD, there is a Larvitar you can get. It's one, but hey, is Barbage a ground type yet? Yeah, yes, Barbage Fark. is good ground water. Shirt and Farks. All right, uh, ooh, this is a bad matchup. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna switch out Barbout or Flappy because it's done being purified. I actually don't really need to be using it. I also do need to. Well, we're not using Armbrion and Arathion, right? No, I don't think so. I'm just keeping them in our team to ensure that we have some backup. What about Bayleaf with a Grass type move? That would have been smart. Oh no. That's scary. Like actually, Razor Leaf is a picture against both of these things. Yes, it is. I'm silly. I'm gonna say slow, switch out Slugma then. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really care about the XP right now, I'm caring about getting that Shadow Bar down. Because honestly, Slugma's gonna take eight more levels to evolve. That's not counting the XP it gets from this. It will get a decent amount, but they'll probably still need four, three or four more levels. And that's just a pain, especially in holding on like Slugma. That cargo isn't even that good. We are going to struggle against every water and ground type we come across. Everything else should be fine. We'll have the, we'll mean, have our beautiful Meganium though. We will I want you to I want you to just believe in the power of its flamethrower though. I'm really upset we're using Sleepy because I genuinely wouldn't mind using Octillery. But yeah. you get a level 20 Rem Raid and that's just a lot of work. I just like to point out that Mark's got a problem with both of my choices now. I don't have a problem with Sleepy. I think it's good because it's balancing out the fact that our other Pokemon is absolutely garbage. Well, I chose one trash and one good. Yeah, you're good. It's fine. Razor Leaf, Bay Leaf. So, um, Mark, you can't use Judgment. That wasn't that wasn't a move in this game. Wow, thanks for the crit on the one that had no HP left. <laughs> He's I'm... coughing. He's coughing. We gave him Ebola. It's fine, yeah, Mark. It's fine, he yeah. just one shots so, him anyway. At one point, I've been playing these games since when did Platinum come out? Platinum two thousand four. Two thousand four. Two thousand. No, this was two thousand four. No, um, I'd say two thousand six. Okay, so I've been playing this game for since at least two thousand six. I never noticed that Barbroach had two little black dots above its mouth. Like, I thought that giant gaping thing was its eye. Ah! Thrash, wait a minute! Ow. Goodbye, Makuhita. Oh. Maybe you want to use Makuhita. Maybe you want to use Harry Mama. I mean, it's actually Whoa. quite bulky. I think it's point. I think it's fair to say, if you're going to use a fucking Harry Mama, you would have <coughs> put the fucking Medicham for it. Yes! Because pure power is broken, but Harry Mama also has a good ability. Thick very, very high HP stat. 
and a good attack and defense. Oh, it, it's thick time, right? Or it gets thick time. Okay. Well, I think it gets either. I'm gonna be guts right now. I, I think it could be either. I think it actually gets both in Gen 3. Let me check. No, I mean, let me check. You play. I'm pretty sure Makuhita's ability right now is guts. So when Hariyama get that. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, then yes. Hey, uh, <coughs> next time. Next time we'll find out what his ability is. We should go heal. Uh, uh, you know what else I'm gonna do? I might buy some uh, healing aid. Goodbye. Bye.